to our special concert, America's Heroes Never Forgotten, presented to you by the musicians of the Ontario Community Show Band and Chafee Adult School. My name is Christina Martinez, proud principal of Chafee High School and one of your narrator narrators for tonight's performance. Please rise and remain standing for presenting arms by the Chafee High School Navy Junior ROTC, the playing of our national anthem, the Pledge of Allegiance, Posting of the colors and invocation. Cadet Trevor Alt of the Chafee High School Navy Junior ROTC will now lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. You may now be seated. It is my great pleasure to introduce my co-narrator for this evening, Dr. James Hammond, Superintendent of the Ontario Montclair School District. Thank you, Mrs. Martinez. What a pleasure it is to be here tonight as the proud parent of a Marine currently enlisted who safely returned from Afghanistan. It's truly an honor to be here tonight and celebrate um, our homage to the armed forces. Tonight's program is divided into two parts. During the first part, the Chauvin family, members of the armed forces, and Chafee High School Navy Junior ROTC will pay homage to the individuals who are serving or have served our country in all branches of the military. We will also honor the centennial of the internment of the unknown soldier from World War I. The unknown arrived at Washington Naval Yard on November 9, 1921. After arriving in Washington on that day, the unknown lay in the state in the United States Capitol Rotunda. About 90,000 visitors paid their respects during the public visiting period on November 10, 1921. In the second half of the performance, we will continue to honor our veterans with a collection of patriotic songs. And now if I could ask the audience to please stand, we will now invite Pastor Gary Keith, pastor of Life Bible Fellowship Church, to give the invocation. As a fellow veteran, it's my privilege to be here tonight and to offer this invocation to you. Would you pray with me, please? Our Heavenly Father, as we bow our heads in gracious honor and appreciation for your love and presence in our lives, we gather together today to honor those who have served our country well. We gather, God, and thanking you for this country that was built on some foundational principles that have carried with us for so many years. We ask that as we sing the songs and as we listen to the music and as we remember our own history as veterans, we pray that you would be pleased with all that we have done as a nation and that you would be honored tonight in all that we do, in all that we say. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being our Savior and Lord. And we pray these things in your precious name. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Keith. Please be seated. The show band will now perform a patriotic march entitled Washington Post as a tribute to our veterans past and present. The music was composed in 1889 by the famous American bandmaster, John Philip Sousa, and remains one of our country's most popular marches. It is my pleasure to reintroduce the musicians of the Ontario Chafee Community Show Band under the direction of Assistant Director David Shasma. Let's give them a nice round of applause. Thank you. 
In honor and recognition of the veterans from each branch of the service, the show band will now perform a musical salute to the armed forces in the order of their inception, and in addition, including a recognition of POWs and MIAs. Please stand when your service song is played. The Army Service Song. <laughs> The Marine Corps Service Song. the Navy service song. The Coast Guard Service Song.
Merchant Marines Service Song. The Air Force Service Song. Memorial De Honor Detail 18 and 56 were organized at VFW posts 8680 and 10489 in response to a letter from the Veterans Administration in July of 1996. Veterans at Riverside National Cemetery were being buried without military honors due to a lack of active duty military personnel. VFW post 8680 answered the call with seven riflemen, a bugler, and two flag folders on September 6, 1996, and performed their first military burial service at Riverside National Cemetery. This past September 6th marked their 25th year of service 
to their fellow veterans at Riverside, and from beach cities to Beaumont, totaling well over 3,100 services. The detail has members from all branches of the service, serving in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. Many of them are buried at Riverside National Cemetery. Why do they do it? Because these veterans, men and women, are the reason we are here and able to honor them as they so rightly deserve. In 1998, Jack Mercer called and asked the detail to become a part of this veteran salute. They accepted and have been participating ever since with great pride. Several years ago, the team grew so large that they were split into two details. The second team became MHD 56. The majority of them are from VFW Post 10489. A few of them are in the detail tonight to honor all veterans with the three volley rifle salute. Please stand for the rifle salute, playing of taps, and the flag folding ceremony. In the traditional flag folding ceremony, Old Glory is folded 13 times. Each fold has a specific meaning. The third fold is made in honor and remembrance of the veterans departing our ranks and who gave a portion of his or her life for the defense of our country to attain peace throughout the world. The ceremony this evening will be performed by U.S. Marine Corps retirees Jesse James and Charles Jones.
Thank you. Please be seated. We conclude the first half of our program with the British hymn, Eternal Father, Strong to Save. It was adopted by the U.S. Navy as its official hymn in the late 19th century. Well, good evening. What a beautiful evening to celebrate such an important uh, event. Celebrate all our veterans who have uh, stri striven hard to make a difference for this country, to bring us the freedoms that we have. We are here because of them, as we well know. So what a beautiful evening to honor them, as we have. Our sincere thanks uh, go to the entire show band production team, support staff, and John Knapp Video Productions, who is uh, filming this tonight and you get a chance if you have uh, the uh, government uh, channel at home you can watch it on uh, the channel and uh, it'll be a great opportunity to relive this beautiful evening. We also would like to thank the uh, generous show sponsors and donors who are listed on your programs so you can look on the back and the front and the back actually and they're on both sides we'd love for you to do that if you would and uh, we would love to add your name as well so Please uh, take it upon yourself to get your name on our program. You don't even have to play an instrument. Well, you can play the, uh, your wallet instrument, but anyway. Great to have you here. You can also support the show band by taking an information card or envelope at the information table to my, le uh, my left. And uh, you can visit uh, the Hungry Tuba, which is right there. It's all alone, feeling sad. See if you can bring uh, better emotions to it. Drop a little money in the, in the uh, Hungry Tuba. And as well, the Kiwanis Club of uh, Ontario, we'd like to thank for being here tonight. The City of Ontario, Chafee High School, Chafee Adult School, and Principal Todd Hay. And we'd also like to thank Al Bowling for providing brochures and complimentary uh, insect repellent wipes from the West Valley Vector Control District. Probably don't need them tonight, but you may in the future. You never can tell with this weather. So pick one up and take it home if you would like. Commander Marty Jones and the outstanding Chafee High School Navy or Junior ROTC Cadet Corps, thank you for all they do. You want to give them a hand, they deserve it. And Cadet Trevor Alt for leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pastor Gary Keith, who is a member of our 
friends of the Ontario Chafee Community Show Band Board. Um, let me see. And Mike Fister for playing the taps tonight. Jesse James, Mike Ryan, Rick Foss, and the other United States Marine Corps retirees of Memorial Honor Detail 18 and 56 who participated in our veterans salute. We thank you. Let's give them a hand, please. In addition, tonight we have some important people. We have uh, the, the uh, <laughs> superintendent for the JP Joint Union High School District, Mr. Matt Holton here tonight. Thank you, Matt. And his left arm tonight, his left arm at the, up there uh, all the time, uh, is uh, Chris Hollister, the assistant uh, superintendent, also a member of the Friends of the Ontario Chief Community Show Band. Uh, Chris Hollister, uh, and that's Chris Hollister, I don't know if I mentioned his name, I'm sorry. Uh, and I mentioned Gary Keith before as a member of the board. And we are delighted that you are here tonight. We hope you will keep coming back. We have a show planned for December, which I think you'll find very good. And uh, we will keep you apprised of what's going on with that. Thank you for showing to up tonight. Thank you, Mr. Ovid. So as we begin uh, part two, the second half of our program with a medley of patriotic songs that are well known to all Included in this inspiring arrangement by John Edmondson is The Girl I Left Behind, When Johnny Comes Marching Home, Shenandoah, American Patrol, and America. Please join me in welcoming back the outstanding musicians of the show band under the direction of Dr. Gabe Petrocelli as they perform an American tribute.
our next selection was written by Czech composer Antonin Dvorak in 1893, soon after his arrival in America. The melody appears in his symphony number no. nine and has been interpreted as an attempt to emulate the style of a gospel or spiritual song. Others believe it was a blend of the composer's view of the greatness of America, coupled with a nostalgic feeling in longing to return to his European roots. Let's give the show band a warm round of applause as they perform Going Home under the baton of assistant director Pat Arnold.
The next song was written in 1940 by American folk singer Woody Guthrie. Over the span of more than 80 years, it continues to be one of America's most famous folk songs. It was based on an existing melody called When the World's on Fire. In 2002, it was one of the 50 recordings chosen that year by the Library of Congress to be added to the National Recording Registry. Let's give the show band and Mr. Arnold a rousing round of applause as they perform This Land is Your Land. One of the great American composers of the 20th century was Richard Rogers. He penned hundreds of famous songs. It's interesting that one of them has a noteworthy background. Rogers originally composed this tune with the title of Under the Southern Cross for the 1952 television series Victory at Sea. You will hear a medley of that famous score at the close of our concert. The song ended up in the 1953 musical, Me and Juliet, with the lyrics written by Oscar Hammerstein. 
The song has a tango rhythm Rogers described as a languid tango in his autobiography, Musical Stages. Tonight, you will hear this famous melody performed as a tenor saxophone solo by our talented assistant director, Pat Arnold. Please give Pat a nice round of applause as he performs No Other Love. Now, I don't want you to remember any of the mistakes, okay? <laughs> this band has had one rehearsal, so I'm very proud of them, even though um, you may have heard some things that are a little alien. <laughs> but I assure you that things will change. Watch. Listen. Um.
One of the most colorful bandsmen of his time was Henry Fillmore. His career as a band leader and composer stretched across more than 50 years, in essence the first half of the 20th century. Fillmore was a great trombonist and wrote numerous compositions for that instrument. In addition, he composed many famous marches. One in particular was written and published in 1929, Fillmore dedicated to all of us. It represents one in a trilogy of patriotic marches. Please give a nice round of applause to the great musicians in the show band as they perform Fillmore's America's, Americans We. Well, I want to start off by thanking the greatest show band on the land for most of this evening, uh, the musicians of the Ontario JP Community Show Band. Here they are. Actually, they put together this whole show in, in less than two hours of rehearsal, so I'm very proud of them. We had our moments, but I think all in all, they did a mar marvelous job. They're wonderful people and great musicians. Many thanks to Mr. Gary Ovid and friends of the show band. For their unwavering support. Thank you, Gary. You're always there for us. Our distinguished narrators, the principal of Chafee High School, Ms. Christina Martinez. Thank you for charming our, <laughs> our concert. And Dr. James Hamm, thank you very much for coming. Uh, I know you have a very busy calendar and everything, but uh, uh, he's also added some grace to our performance this evening. Our assistant director is Patrick Arnold, first conducting in saxophone solo, Patrick. And especially uh, David Schaff's my, my other assistant who really did a great job organizing the first half of this concert. Thank you, David. Where are you? Raise your hand, David. There you go. David did a great job putting that together for us. And finally, I want to thank you for uh, attending this evening. I know it's not under the 
the greatest conditions, but you know why we're outside. So uh, it, with that in mind, I'm going to have to keep you posted on what we're going to be doing for December. So just keep, uh, keep an eye out for the uh, newsletter that we send out to you, and uh, I'll let you know what goes on, okay? So with that, uh, again, I want to thank you all. Uh, I think we had a pretty good evening uh, weather-wise. The weatherman was uh, very accommodating this time, so thank you. Okay. Before we conclude our performance this evening, on behalf of Dr. Petricelli and the entire show band family, Commander Martin Jones and the cadets of the Chafee High School Navy Junior ROTC, and members of the military in attendance tonight, I want to sincerely thank you for spending your evening with us in celebration of our country's heroes, those serving today around the world, and all of our veterans. Hopefully, we will see you again on Monday, December 13th, for our holiday concert. Status updates for that performance will be forthcoming. Thank you, Principal Martinez. And I'd like to just add to the words before our finale, what a gem this show band is to our community. And I'll take the liberty of speaking for Dr. Holton as well as two superintendents, one from Chafee Joint, one from OMSD, to see uh, our alums participate in such a great activity for our community and honor uh, our current enlisted men and women in the armed forces as well as the veterans that have served our country so bravely to give us the freedoms, entitlements, and liberties that we are so uh, appreciative of. Our finale is entitled Victory at Sea, a documentary television series about the warfare during World War II and naval warfare in particular. It was originally a 26 episode series with 12 hours of music and from 1952 to 1953 was broadcast by NBC in the United States. In 1954, it was condensed into a feature film. The music soundtrack was penned by the famous American composer Richard Rogers and orchestrated by Robert Russell Bennett, who also conducted the recording sessions. Tonight, the show band will perform a medley from the Victory at Sea soundtrack. Included are the major theme, Song of the High Seas, the Guadalcanal March, in the hymn of victory. Please sit back and enjoy the excerpts from Victory at Sea.
have a wonderful evening and please drive home carefully.